The Internet Marketing Association has now grown to 900,000 plus professional members worldwide. As the rise of technology grows in all of us as working professionals, one of the concepts that always crosses my mind as the chairman of this group is the safety of texting and driving. As a parent, I'm always thinking about my child and the children of, of society that are the ones that are probably texting and Snapchatting the most. But as I've been speaking to, to my friend who will introduce himself in a moment, the rising epidemic of career professionals that are texting and driving is alarming. So what we're hoping to share with you today is just a few statistics to better educate you and inform our working uh, public, uh, IMA members and business professionals on the safeties of texting and driving. Uh, Todd, thank you very much uh, for, for coming today. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and, and maybe just inform our audience who you are? My name is Todd Kovalets. I'm the public information officer for the uh, CHP station down in Santa Ana. Um, I handle all public affairs related media, but part of that is I teach a lot of classes, both to young kids and adults. And the main theme that we've been focusing on lately uh, at the Highway Patrol as a whole has been the kind of the epidemic of texting and driving and just distracted driving as a whole. So right. the more often I can come out and talk to groups like this, sure. the happier I am, the happier everyone is, and hopefully the safer we all are. You know, your phone is now becoming like digital oxygen for you. If you're not getting your phone calls or your emails or your texts, you're getting something from your phone, whether it's mapping data and, and just driving to a meeting. Uh, what are some of the statistics that you're hearing at the California Highway Patrol and in law enforcement around this rising epidemic? And, and I've heard, you know, where it's outbeating drinking and driving. Can you talk a little bit about some of the trends that are going on with this? The trends we're seeing is it, it, it's still very alarming how much people are using their phone while they're driving. Uh, from 2010 to 2011, the number of texting and driving citations went up 42%. Mm. Uh, in that same period, uh, cell phone, just handheld cell phone usage, went down a little bit. But overall, we're seeing it more and more. And as, as people become more and more attached to their phones, uh, we're seeing it, it, it's only increasing. Uh, Currently, the statistics are showing that if you're drinking and driving under the influence, you're about four times more likely to be involved in a crash. Mm -hmm. And the current statistic is if you're using your cell phone for texting while you're driving, you're 23 times more wow. likely to be involved in a crash. And like, the problem we run into is, you know, drunk driving as a whole has a huge social stigma. While it happens quite a bit, there's a big stigma against it, and everybody would pretty much know it's wrong, and most people would avoid it at, right. at all costs. But there isn't that social stigma that's attached to mm -hmm. texting and driving because right. it's a relatively recent phenomenon. Right. You know, just in the past 10, 15 years, we've gone from dial-up, really slow modems, to now we have phones that have 4G LTE that surpasses most home speed internet right. that, that people have for DSL. So people are able to get information so fast, and they're used to so quick of a response to things that it's hard to create that, mm -hmm. that, um, that, that need to, to put the phone down. And we, we live in a society of instant gratification where right. we get everything so fast that it really is going to require that that change in thought process mm -hmm. in society as a whole. And part of that's education with things like this, which is, which is right. awesome that your right. company's doing it. So one of the things as internet marketers and as busy professionals, you know, our business has become real time. It's one on one. If we're not responding within a several minutes of an email or a text, to some degree, we may be losing momentum with our own businesses. What can business professionals like, like myself and our, our community uh, learn from, from the Highway Patrol and, and from your leadership on ways to, to better uh, control that uh, access to the medium and, and ways that, that we can you know, use it responsibly so we can avoid avoid uh, such accidents from happening. Probably the most important thing is to, we have so much technology with phones and such, but also with now with our vehicles. And use that technology to your advantage. With everybody now has an iPhone, an Android phone, but with most of those comes the option for voice text or to have the phone read you a text message that comes in. And you can get that through your car. Right. So using that technology to your advantage. I can't tell you how, as an officer how frustrating it is to have someone, you stop them, they're driving a brand new Land Rover. And I know for a fact that car has Bluetooth, but for they didn't take the time to set up their Bluetooth, and instead they're sitting there holding their phone in their hand. Right. Things like that are so easily preventable mm -hmm. and can really help with the distraction. So using right. the technology to your, uh, to your advantage and to make you safer as a whole, keep your eyes on the road and instead of looking down at your phone. Well, that's a, a great tip for, for our audience. And, you know, just at the Consumer Electronics Show, Microsoft has made a, a significant investment into automobiles and the display of this technology within uh, that environment. So, so you're right on. Well, any closing thoughts for our audience, uh, Officer, as, as we conclude our interview here on, on the hazards of texting and driving and any final comments? Probably the most important thing I'd like to emphasize is if we look back at when, when California first and nationwide they implemented seatbelt laws, mm -hmm. 
It took a long time to gain momentum, but it really required that societal acceptance and that change in thought process. And that's something we really need to see with text messaging. And remember that it starts with you, especially I'm sure many of your members have children. Right. The statistics show many of those people will text and talk on the phone while they drive with their kids. However, if the role was reversed and they found out their children were texting right. and driving or talking while driving, they'd be absolutely furious. And to right. remember that not only are you making the world safer for yourself, but you're setting the example for your children. And how you drive is how your kids will drive someday. Right. And you know, we the Caltrans can design and build freeways, the CHP can go out there and patrol roads, but at the end of the day, it's up to all of us as a whole to make the road safer for us and our families. And right. the biggest thing they can do right now is put that phone down, mm -hmm. keep your eyes on the road, right. and make it safe for the rest of us and your families too. Great. Well, these are some great closing thoughts. Uh, thank you very much, and also to the California Highway Patrol with partnering with the Internet Marketing Association around this really uh, important cause, uh, not just to me, but to all of us. And I encourage all of you as members of the IMA to go talk to professionals within your organization and be proactive around this epidemic. Uh, that is a, a growing trend in, in a bad way uh, for our society. So thank you very much for your time, and uh, we will see you at the next IMA TV clip. Thank you. Thank you very much.